Hello, it's Carrie here from the Female Entrepreneur Association and welcome to your weekly dose of inspiration to build a successful business. So recently I received an email from one of my really good friends, Ailish, who runs The Glow Getter, an amazing website all about organic beauty. And she's just moved to the other side of the world to New Zealand and she sent me this message. Okay, let me read it to you. She said, I moved to the other side of the world and naively thought my motivation levels would stay the same as they were when living in London. It's now nearly March and I've not achieved anything I wanted for this year. And trying to get my motivation back is like trying to push a large rock up a hill in roller skates. I'm coaxing myself back with small steps, but they are so tiny and frustrating myself. And I know if I don't take big action now, then all my hard work from the last year will just go down the pan. How many of us have felt like that or feel like that now? How many of us have set ourselves goals that we wanna reach and then we just feel like life has got in the way and there's so many things going on in our lives that we've kind of lost our motivation, we've lost our mojo, we've, we're out of the flow of everything. We are just not making the progress we wanna make and it feels so frustrating. It feels almost like the walls are coming in around you and you start to panic thinking, I really wanna make this work, I really wanna make this happen, but then you feel like there's like this, sand time where it's running out of time and like the year is flying by and you're not making the progress and you're like desperately trying to hang on to the dream and want to kind of make it happen but you just feel like you're not you, you feel like there's almost like a glass wall in front of you when everything you want is on the other side but you just can't push through and it's so frustrating I have felt like that so many times but I think the good thing is that I have felt like that so many times and I've still managed to build a really successful business, which I think is probably the most liberating thought or realization I have ever had. <laughs> because it's okay for us to feel like this. It's okay for us to have times when we just feel like we've lost our motivation, we've lost our mojo, we are completely out of the flow of it all. That is okay because as entrepreneurs, we dream big, we push ourselves hard to achieve big things. And with that comes this you know, it's almost like a battle with ourselves because we have to step up, we have to dig so deep with, with, in, within ourselves to become the person that we need to be in order to make it happen. And sometimes it's exhausting. Sometimes we fall off the bandwagon. You know, sometimes life just gets in the way like it did for Eilish. Like she moved to the side of the world. She was experiencing so much change. Life got in the way. Life gets in the way for me all the time. And when I say life gets in the way, I mean that we have all these external things going on around ourselves. We've got maybe change going on. We've got challenges and obstacles. We've got other tasks we've got to do. And then we get in our own way by looking at that stuff and letting it, letting us, letting it drag us off track, letting it slow us down, letting it make us lose focus. And that's something that we are doing ourselves. So how do we stop this? How do you go from feeling like you are just coasting along or you're not motivated, you're not doing the things you need to do in order to get to where you want and you're driving yourself insane with these feelings of like guilt mainly. <laughs> so how do you turn it around? How do you get your mojo back? How do you get back in the flow? So my answer to this in my experience is ridiculously simple. So it happened to me a few weeks ago where I was feeling like this. There's so much going on in my life. I felt like it was chaotic. I felt overwhelmed. I felt like I wasn't making the progress with the million things I have going on. I then started to feel like I couldn't be bothered to do any of it. I was struggling to get up in the morning. You know, then it seeped into the rest of my life. You know, my, my home just felt like it was a tip and everything felt messy. I felt out of control frustrating. You've probably felt like this. I'm sure if you, you know, as human beings, we feel like this. So if we're all human, we've all felt like this at some point. <laughs> so um, I was, there I was feeling this, you know, feeling the frustration. And I was sat in my dressing room, looking at myself in the mirror, doing my makeup. And I was having a conversation with myself about how frustrated I felt and how annoyed I was with myself that I felt so off track and that I wasn't making the progress I wanted to be making. I was kind of beating myself up about it. And then all of a sudden this voice popped into my head that said, Carrie, you know, if you want to stop feeling like this, you can just choose to stop feeling like that, this right now, right this second. In this moment, you can change this around, you know that, right? And I just like smiled at myself in the mirror as if to say, okay, it's so true. And it is so true. You know, what is going on in our minds determines the decisions we make and determines how our life goes. It determines whether we're in the flow of life or whether we're going upstream in life, you know, going against the flow. And it is really that simple. And it, it, I just laughed at myself because I thought, oh yeah, like 
how, you know, I've been feeling like this for a few days now, I've been feeling frustrated, and that's where my focus and energy has been going, and that's why everything's been unraveling around me, and I've just been feeling more and more out of control, and it started entirely in my mind. So the simplicity is making the decision to be like, okay, take it a step back, and be like, right, I'm not having this anymore, I'm gonna take back control, thank you very much, and I am gonna get back in the flow. It's it's a decision because the moment you make that decision, you start making decisions that will, are empowering. You start making decisions because you want to feel good. You want to feel better. You don't want to feel that frustration and that out of control, stressed, horrible feeling that you were feeling before. So you make that decision. And it's like the quote that Anthony Robbins said: um, "Your destiny is determined by the choices you make. Choose now, choose well." And it is so true. So while you know, it's, we can go through these phases of feeling like we've fallen off the bandwagon, we're, like, we're not motivated anymore, we feel like we're not we're out of control, we're not making the progress, which is normal, I think we all feel like this. That's fine. The key is that at some point you have to check in with yourself and you have to be like, right, I'm drawing the line, I've had enough of this, I'm making the decision now to put an end to it. I'm making the decision now to get back in the flow, to, to be more positive, to do the things I need to do in order to make it happen. No more wallowing, no more struggling to get out of bed in the morning. I'm just going to get out of bed in the morning. I am just going to set my alarm and I'm going to wake up and I'm going to get out of bed in the morning because that's a choice I make. And so you start to make these little decisions and those little decisions pull everything back together and then you feel in the flow. It isn't easy. Sometimes like you make that decision to get back in the flow and then you do a really good day and you're like, yes, I had a really great day, I'm making progress again. And then the next day, it's like you fall off the bandwagon again. You're like, oh my God, this is so annoying. And it's fine. You just have to keep like making the decision to pull yourself back on, pull yourself back on, pull yourself back on until the flow comes back and it will come back. It can't not come back when your energy and focus is toward it. You are, you're wanting to be more positive so you become more positive. So just kind of direct your energy in that way and everything else will take care of itself. It always does. So I know that was ridiculously simple, and then there are other things I think we can all do to help us get motivated, whether it's meditation or just getting clarity again on your goals, making a plan, and that kind of stuff, that's really helpful, but it, you can't do that, that won't help unless you've made the decision, right, I've had enough, I'm going to get back in the flow. And then it, you, will, you will get back in the flow, but it starts from that decision, it starts from your mind, and it's the most empowering thing ever. So. If you're feeling unmotivated, if you're feeling off track, if you're feeling frustrated, just check in with yourself. And you're like, hang on a sec, well you go and have a chat with yourself in the mirror, <laughs> if you're weird like me. And just, just check in with yourself and be like, hang on a second, what is going on? Let's sort this out right now. Let's make a decision, let's make a pact with each other. Let's make a commitment that no more of this, let's just get back on track, yeah? And then you will you'll get back on track. Um, so hopefully that is helpful in some way. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So definitely leave a comment and let me know if you've ever felt like this before. And also share your tips and what you do to get back motivated again or to get back in the flow. And also, if you are watching this video when I have just released it, then I am so excited because the Mission for March challenge is back. We are in March right now and we're doing the free Mission for March challenge again to get to so where we can all come together and get fired up to get ourselves back on track, to have some accountability and to take those little steps we need to take to get back in the flow, to really start making massive progress. Um, it's going to be so much fun. We've got so many free goodies for you. We've got a a uh, pop-up Facebook group where we're going to all get together and have lots of fun. There was thousands of people and women involved last year, so I'm sure there'll be thousands of women involved this year, because it's always good when you're surrounded with other people who just want to be inspired and fired up and to make the, who are making those decisions so they're like, yeah, I'm doing this, I'm owning it, I'm getting in control, I am in the flow, I'm in my flow. It's when you're around those kinds of people, it just helps us all to be like going in the same direction. <laughs> so if you're up for the challenge, then definitely come and join us. Um, the link's below this video, um, just enter your email address, your details, sign up, we'll send you all the goods, we'll send you all, the, all that stuff. Um, I would love for you to be involved. If you're watching this video and it is months and months after when I've made the video, then you can still sign up and we will send you over the Make It Happen Challenge. Um, so yeah, so you can still, there's still some steps you can take that will help you um, along your own journey. But I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully you'll be coming to join us for the challenge. I would, like I said, I'd really love to hear your thoughts on how you feel when 
you just kind of feel out of the flow and unmotivated, like so many of us do. Uh, so definitely leave a comment, and I will see you next week for another dose of inspiration.